If you're a student of prophecy, you know exactly why the Pope has been pushing his global warming climate change agenda the last few decades. In fact, if you're a part of the Seventh-day Remnant movement of the Lord, then you have been declaring the Pope will use climate change as a way to enforce the mark of the beast. I've had a page on my website all about how they plan to use climate change to enforce the mark of the beast for years. And I have done quite a few videos on this as well, as some of you know. We are a lot closer to the return of Jesus Christ than most people are even aware of because, as also prophesied in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3, we see both the Vatican and even the Seventh-day Adventist church leaders saying the exact opposite. They are truly preaching peace and safety to keep the people in the pews so as to keep the cash flowing into their pockets. Now, as we obey the Lord and declare Sunday laws are soon to come, we now see their global push under a little girl named Greta to get millions of people involved in protests to demand we do something about climate change. And especially the young ones are doing this. They've all been indoctrinated into this long prophesied lie via their government approved teachers the last few years. And so it's now easy to see what's coming, especially after the powers that be declared they want a one world government by 2030, which students of prophecy also know that is only going to be allowed to happen at the very end of the plagues, within days of the Lord's second coming, in fact. And by the way, if they're actually declaring they want that new world order by 2030, that means they already have everything they need to have in place to do it much sooner. All the powers that be are waiting for now is for their dying God Satan to stand on earth declaring himself to be Christ, and then those sunny laws will be passed and the new world order will be right behind it. But sadly, because most don't read their Bibles anymore, we see billions of poor souls standing in agreement with the Pope that we all need to do something to stop the climate disasters. Yet, if you read your Bible, you know these disasters have nothing to do with climate change at all and everything to do with the final signs of Christ's return. But the popes in Rome who, as prophesied, have been exposed as card-carrying Satanists today and their obedient wolves under their care are declaring that no, Jesus is not returning anytime soon. In fact, the Seventh-day Adventist president actually stated this on camera. Understand that, yes, national Sunday laws will come, persecution will come, but nothing of that sort is in the pipeline at the present time, nothing that we have understood. And just so you know, that young girl they are using to promote the Pope's agenda was obviously indoctrinated by her government-approved teachers so as to come off as believable by the masses that have been dumbed down for decades. Seriously, over 30,000 scientists have already shared scientific proof that the handful of scientists that are bought and paid for by Rome are lying about global warming. In fact, 500 of these real climate scientists took the time to put together a doc file. Each of them did this, addressing the lies put forth by Rome. It would be good that everyone checks this paper out wherein they say it is cruel as well as imprudent to advocate the squandering of trillions on the basis of results from such immature models. CO2 is not a pollutant. It is essential to all life on Earth. Photosynthesis is a blessing. More CO2 is beneficial for nature, greening the Earth. Additional CO2 in the air has promoted growth in global plant biomass. It is also good for agriculture, increasing the yields of crops worldwide. But the Pope scientists say, no, CO2 is bad. And so, again, there is no global warming. What you see happening is the final warning to all life on Earth that the creator of all that is seen and unseen is about to return exactly as he said he would. Being in the last days, wherein the people now know who the man of sin is, we now know the Vatican works for Satan. Of this, no honest man can doubt. Satan is using the Vatican prelates to make sure billions are not ready for what's already begun so as to glorify their God. All the world that has been wandering after the beast in Rome for centuries are embracing what the educated can see to be a bold-faced lie. Worse yet, this precious little girl they are using to garner support has not only declared her loyalty to the man of sin in Rome on camera in the same way all his pawns have been doing for years, she is being funded by the most evil people alive to continue doing this work as we speak. 
They have even gone so far as to declare via the Church of Sweden that Greta is successor to Jesus Christ so as to garner even more followers that never read Bibles. And check this video out when you get time. The Vatican-approved script she reads on camera demands that the people panic. Well, was that not prophesied? I had another video to share showing it about 8 minutes and 20 seconds into the video that Greta's financial backers were from the Club of Rome. But YouTube terminated the account posting that video before I had time to use it. But I do have this article showing she has all the money she needs right now to do this work for the Pope anyway. And for those of you that think I'm blowing smoke through my tinfoil bonnet regarding how the Club of Rome uses children to push the Vatican's climate change agenda, see this document from their own website when you get time. As students of prophecy, we know how the world will see many disasters right before Jesus returns. We know all about the animals, the birds, the insects, and the fish are going to be dying, just as the prophet Hosea said they would. And they're going to be dying in biblical numbers. And we also know society will embrace everything from homosexuality to abortion as the norm in the end. And we also know the man of sin in Rome will do all he can to hide the fact that all these prophecies in the Bible are true so as to gather as many souls into the camp of Satan before the plagues begin to fall so as to assure billions will receive the mark in the hopes of glorifying Satan over and above Jesus Christ as the most current Pope has been doing all along. That is why the lie has now become the truth, and truth has now become the lie in today's society. We are literally in the age of lying, as I've been saying for decades. And the humble and loving Christian is hated, while those that seek to persecute and even kill them are protected. All that is happening has nothing to do with climate change, and everything to do with the soon return of Jesus Christ. Thank you for watching. God bless.